Okay, everyone, it's time to get some Hearthstone videos going. We're switching gears. We're not gonna. We're still gonna continue doing some more Jade stuff, but um, figure change gears a little bit, and I've done that lately. I hope you guys enjoy the unpacking of the chests I just did for Feria, and uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Like I said, and I will be showcasing some, hopefully, some beginner decks. Don't have quite the dust to build some of the ones I have online. I might have to. Uh, D and chat uh, one of those uh, legendaries. But anyways, let's go ahead. This wild ends off priest, Reno priest. I've played it before. I've changed it now that the, we're anticipating the new uh, expansion for Hearthstone. I'm just gonna start playing more fun stuff, and um, I've added the herald. And I took out uh, what would I take out? I took out since this deck has a lot of healing, and I don't think it's really necessary. I took out the Darkshire alchemist, and I put him in there, and he's good. I like. Uh, if you can get a board, like if you could get, uh, let's see, uh, Sludge Belcher, uh, Shifting Shade would be awesome. Maybe even a Drake for extra firepower, but uh, you probably wouldn't want to do that. Maybe you want to get Sylvana. So we're going to do it for fun. And um, um, yeah, well, let's go ahead and switch over to Wild. I haven't played much Wild this season. I haven't actually played Hearthstone a lot at all. I've been playing a lot of uh, other games. And. Um, you know, we're waiting for the expansion, and uh, if you guys have s seen the cards revealed, I really like the idea of the elemental uh, mechanic where you play elemental on one turn, and then in the next turn, uh, a minion could get benefits from it. So it's kind of interesting. It's not quite as powerful, I don't think, at least from what we've shown, it could be as powerful as the Jades. But I'm really looking forward to, like, a control mid-range uh shaman elemental shaman so it's gonna be good and i'm gonna probably after the new set play a lot of wild too because the wild is just gonna have so much more cards available and i think you could just make a lot more fun decks but we'll do both standard of course and uh and uh wild but in the meantime let's go ahead and queue up and see if we can get a win or two uh reno games tend to take a while so it depends on how they go uh and all that kind of jazz okay guys Okay, our opponent is a hunter. Definitely going to keep unstable ghoul. You want against aggressive decks. You want your death lords, your pain, your cleric, or uh, mistress of, mis of mixtures for early game. The ghoul is perfect. Do not know how... Uh, oh, per actually, that's about as great of a... Uh, all right, so, you know, we could put down that, or we could put down her. She d uh, it would be good for card draw. She would be a little bit better could contest the board. Um, let's put that. Because we have several uh, options for the next couple turns. So not going to uh, put down the Cleric. Cleric tends to die right away. I would love to get some value out of it. So we're going to be a little bit uh, greedier with uh, Harold here and see how he does. This might stick. Uh, Hunters, uh, I think, are a little bit stronger in Wild because they have... Uh, you know, some of those awesome utilities that they lost. I like the mad scientist. So, yeah. Alright, so what are we going to do here? We could actually, what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of getting some card draw here. I'm going to ignore that. Might as well get card draw while we can. Alright, Kazakis is perfect. Okay, so, yeah, I did that because I want to... um get card draw as much as possible all right so he has that that's going to kill the taunt he's most likely going to kill the mistress or he could just go face if he goes face that won't be too bad oh forgot yeah proc okay so he went that i'm going to probably heal let's see that if that's explosive trap she's going to die no matter what if it is explosive trap I could save the cleric, so let's get a little bit card draw. Alright, that's actually good. Alright, so what do I want returned back to my hand? I prob if it's freezing nice trap, I rather oh I don't know. Right if it's freezing trap, I wouldn't mind getting the cleric back because I could actually keep it. So let's let's go. Alright, so it's not explosive nice and it's stand. not uh, bear trap. So it's most likely a cat trick. Or it could be Snake Trap, either one. Alright, so next turn, we 
Okay, if he goes wide, that'll be really, really good. We're going to have to... Okay, he didn't go too, too wide. All right, so what we're going to have to do here is we could do this. He's the beefiest minion. But we could do the Death Lord and buff him up. Or actually buff her up. Get some card draw. Let's do... Let's do this. We're not going to... Oh, that's actually perfect. Oh, so it's Snake Trap. Okay, I knew that. But... We procked the snake trap, so we're going to actually get rid of his ooze. Jeez, man. Lucky rolls, and I'll take out one of these. Uh, we'll take out one of these. Uh, man, okay, that's good, so he doesn't get any more synergy out of that. Um, right away. As much as I hate losing the cleric, I need to uh, take out a beast. Oh. I've gotten decent card draw, plus I have so much in my hand right now, so I'm not too worried. Then the second rate uh, will be really good next turn, or I could do the Death Lord, or I could do Bran. I could do, I want to say Bran for Kazakus, so I could get a lot of great stuff out of it. All right, so I get a heal for nothing. Basically, he gets a little bit back. Uh, next turn, we'll see what happens. The only thing is we don't really have an answer for high main. We do light bomb, but I kind of rather save that. But we'll see. I let the dogs out. Hmm. So he's not really trading, which is kind of interesting. Um, that's a pretty decent board. Maybe it's a good idea to use. Uh, I could do that, but he's just going to take out the whole board. Uh, if I use light bomb, it's going to be really good too. Let's see, do we have enough? No, we don't have quite enough yet. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Let's do this. Let's go very defensive. I don't know if that's necessarily the best play, but I really don't want to use Light Bomb for that board, even though I would get a lot of tempo, but he's going to use Hunter's Mark. Hopefully he won't get anything juicy. Anything juicy, juicy, we do have a... Oh, okay, Shredder, okay. That's not good. All right, so next turn we're probably going to. Oh, wow. he, now light bomb kind of looks nice, especially since he kind of cleared out the board. So we're definitely going to use light bomb now. He went wide. Um, let's see if we unless we get. Basically, evil doesn't quite do it though because it, it won't get out the everything. So let's go ahead and use light bomb. Nah, that's not too bad. Okay, next turn we should have enough for, uh, I'm probably going to save him for 10, but I'm going to do Bran and Kazakus. I think that'll be a really good combo. Alright, well, I can't deal with that. So he's not a, uh, he's not a face hunter. Should have known that by now. Face hunters don't run. Alright, so, we could do a couple things. We could do Kazakus and Bran, and I think that's the best play. Yeah, we could do the Chilma. We don't have any dragon. Uh, Chilma will most likely clear his board, though. Um, let's let's just think this through. This would be kind of good because I could actually do uh, I could do a bunch of cool stuff. Even though Bran will die, and so will Kazakus, but I don't know. I mean that could send out there. He's not gonna he's not gonna lose much of his board though. He could uh he'll trade in these two big minions for it unless he has another hunter mark. Uh let's do it. And plus it's death rattle synergy, so I, I just thought of that as well. We're getting close to ten, so let's play a little bit slow. If he has another hunter's mark though, it's gonna be real devastating. I don't have a dragon in hand. The reason Chill Mall's there is for Death Rattle Synergy to get him back from Nazoth is just huge. With him, uh, Savannah's. I haven't got the Sludge Belcher yet. I've gotten the Death Lord already, and then I've also got um, the Unstable Gold. So I have a good amount of synergy left. Okay, he trades, so that's excellent. There's unfortunately no dragon, so it doesn't do anything, but that's fine. Okay, now this would probably be good Bran Kazakis turn. Unless we have uh, death, let's see. Will we? Ooh, sludge belcher is not bad, but uh, 
I think, uh, I don't know, maybe we should do Sludge Belcher. That would, uh, he would be able to trade into it, give me an extra turn. Uh, uh let's do, alright, so do that. And we're going to play him. If, um, the Shifting Shade lives, that would be perfect for the Herald, but, uh, we'll see. Worst case scenario, the Herald's, a uh, 5-5 five, five minion that you get on board. I don't know if this is... Okay, so he trades good. So he only has one Hunter's Mark. So that's actually excellent. Because I can actually clear this whole entire board with Excavated Evil. I won't be able to get any uh, synergy with the Herald with Shifting Shade. But uh, at least I'll be able to clear out his board. And he's low on cards. So that's good. But I'm also kind of low on cards. So hopefully... I'd be able to get a Drake in so I could take advantage of a brand and get some uh, double double stuff. I do got an Entomb. I need to get Reno soon, though. I haven't taken much damage, but Hunters, you know, they're aggressive. So with the Herald, you kind of want to be a little greedy with them. And does, like if you get Shifting Shades, Dark Cultist, stuff like that. Even um, Sylvanas would be perfect. Or worst case, even if you had some... You know, other minions. It's still tokens. Alright, so I don't know. Is this guy going LD or what's going on? And thinking of Death Rattle, the new synergy or new uh, uh, card revealed, I think it was today. Or the other day, uh, Death Rattle one drop for the, which is basically a mini shifting shade that gives you a opponent's card for your opponent's deck is really, really good. Oh, that's actually not bad. We're gonna do this. Now I do want to get. To, oh well, it doesn't matter. All right, so we get a win. Um, let's see what we get out of. Uh, just the carrier, I think I... Oh, I didn't have time. Anyways, I think I thought you'd percent turn it would end the game. But anyways, uh, I will... Um, this was a long game, and I will uh, do more Reno Priest, uh, Wild Reno Priest, and then I have you guys. I did compile this last night, and I don't know if it's optimized, but since I'm playing fun stuff, I wanted to do a... Uh, Harold, uh, non, uh, uh, normal, uh, Reno, not, uh, I'm sorry, and his elf priest, not, uh, Reno. So I wanted to do this. So I've done some stuff. Some of it's kind of greedy. I don't know if it's, this is optimal list. I just put it together last night, but as you can see, these guys will definitely stay. Death, I don't know if I want two Death Lords. I'm thinking of, uh, cutting one of that for maybe a shifting shade, uh, not shifting shade, a, um, a, uh, second rate. Bruiser, I kind of think one of those is just enough. Uh, Barnes, I don't know if I want to have him in there because sometimes he'll pull the Death Lord and, and kind of backfire game. But anyways, for this, in like uh, two light bombs, I don't know if that's really necessary. I got Sneed's old Shredder for kind of shits and giggles. Uh, and uh, bulk of it's pretty good, uh, much the same. You got Drake's. I might uh, change things up. Uh, Harold, of course, is going to stay because he's a whole part. I might uh, get rid of one of that. Second villain's chosen. But anyways, we'll see. You know, and I'll show, and I'll showcase this uh, in the immediate future as well. And then um, we have some other good stuff. Uh, back to the Jade. This will probably be my next Jade uh, Chronicles episode with the wild ends off for the shaman and then i will do this as well this has been a really cool deck uh as w uh ends off the corruptor of synergy and jade so anyways there's several decks i want to showcase and then we'll probably focus on a lot more fun stuff since uh this is the last true season with the mean streets and i cannot wait for aug uh for uh, april 6th okay guys bye